Are you thinking God hates you or does not want you to be known by everybody that you want to relate with? Well, it is because God is hiding you for the right people. You will wonder why. Four reasons God is hiding you from the right person. Number one, God wants the right person for you. You will keep wondering the reason God has been restricting you from some people. You will be confused and have been asking questions like, Why has God not been allowing you to accept those that has been coming to you over the years? Now you will know the reason. The reason is that God has a plan for you. The plans of good and not of evil. The plans to give you a good life and a great future and in all things a celebrates end. That is the reason God has been keeping you away from those that will not function in the will of God. It is not everybody that comes your way that is allowed to come into your life. It is not all those people that says they love you that God wants for you. Actually, people are allowed to love you. People have their right and a full option may be to feel anything for you. It could be good or bad, but the only things that is only allowed for God is that He is in charge of your life and He alone has the monopoly to know who and who that will fit into the plans that He has for you. Never think God is not fair to you. Never think you are out and you are not getting your help from the Lord. The truth is that God is keeping you away from the wrong people. God is hiding you from those that are not His will for you, so that you will not miss it in life. If the right people are in your life, they will become the reason God will perfect His will in your life. Do you know that the presence of the right person in your life brings out the right things happening in your life? You cannot expect right things to happen to your life when your life is filled with wrong, pessimistic, negative people, selfish, and non-ambitious people. Those are not the people that God wants on your life. You may not know who is who, but God knows you may not know the intentions of those coming into your life. But God in His infinite knowledge knows what anybody has in their mind and what they want to achieve with you. If you allow God to continue to keep you under His own wings and shadow, then you will not make the mistakes of choosing the wrong person to come into your life when God is already preparing someone better for you. You have to pray for the right person, and that is what God is doing for you to give you the right, give you the right person before that will happen. Since the right person is still in the making, and will soon be manifesting, then God is doing everything to avoid other wrong and unacceptable presence to come into your life so that your life will not become a corrupt ground for the devil to plant his seed of corruption. That is the reason God is hiding you from the wrong person in other to keep and preserve you for the right person. Number two, to keep you away from the knowledge of evil. This is very important for your life and for your good relationship with God. There are lots of things that you do not know, and there are some certain things that you do not know, and it is the intention of thee to ensure that you do not know them. Right away, God knows that the presence of the devil in the life of a person is usually to cause wrong things to begin to happen in the life of that person. Most time, the actual moment of the devil comes to the scene in the life of a person is not the real time that the devil shows forth it works. Sometime, he comes to plant seeds that will have to die and grow again in the process time are consumed and things are changing. Now, the things that the devil brings and plants into your life will grow in form of knowledge and when this happens, the devil uses the things you know to manipulate your life in the wrong way. Now, this is how it works. It was the contact that Eve had with the devil through the serpent that made her consider the fruit of the knowledge of good and evil. The cost of managing the effect of the knowledge of wrong things is higher than the cost of abstaining from it. 
The reason God is hiding you from the right person is because there are some good people that will come into your life and when they come, they will expose you to wrong things. Attitude and character that will make you not to have those things that God has prepared for you. Then may not be contending for the place of the right person, but the devil will bring them into your life to plant things that will either make you miss the right person or not able to keep the right person. When the devil brings into your life friends that will always make you or teach you to desire things that are out of your reach as a person, you know what you can afford. You know what you are worth and what you are earning and the backgrounds of your faith and family upbringing. But every time you do things in the other way, you lack attitude of contentment. You do not appreciate good and simple lovely things just because they are not in the same way you wanted it. You tastes goes higher than you can handle. It is not wrong to love and desire good and quality things, but you must not let them lead you into the trouble of relentlessness because of you do not have the capacity to get them. The effect of this attitude is that you will always be under pressure to keep with your obsession and even when you cannot have them, you become trouble and when the simple person comes to your life, the person becomes a victim of your ostentatious life. Do you see it now that God knows why he has been keeping you? Because if you come in contact with such people, then you may get corrupted and become wrong in yourself, which is what God does not want for you. There is a life that proves worthy to host the blessings of the Lord. If you do not have this character and attitude, mentality and mindset working in your, then you may not have the blessings and the right person may not come yet. God is intentional in the things that he is doing in your life. When you notice the moves of God in your life, then you have to calm down and follow God the way God is going and he will give you the best desires of your heart. Number three, the will of God. You can contend with everything in life, but when the will of God is involved, you may not have the option to contend. Rather, what you may have is the choice to obey and allow the will of God to come in your life. It is always the will of God to make sure you have all that He has promised you. God has made to you the promise of God life, good health, long life, and the blessings are all God has promised to give you. So you have to allow the will of God to come into your life by letting Him put those apparatus that will facilitate the accomplishment of the will of God to come. That hiding place that God has placed you to keep you away from the wrong ones and preserve you for the right person has a significant role to play in your life and in your eternal future. You have to learn to see things the way God sees it. God does things the way it pleases Him. So you may not have that chance to question God why He has done the things He has done and why He has done it. All you can do is allow yourself to make the will of God to happen in your life. It is God's will to put you through such process, then allow it because it is for your own good. Number four, the devil is after you. You must know that the devil knows that you are going to be great, and the devil is always afraid of you becoming what God has destined for you to be. The devil knows that if he always you to have the right person in your life, then you will be free and receive the blessings of the Lord for your life that will make you rich and add no sorrow to your life. So the devil is doing all things within its power to destroy that plans. But God knows it all. So God Almighty has decided to keep you and hide you from the right person. God has started it in your life. He will finish it and your life will become great and beautiful forever.